happy friday welcome back to our channel we're back with another five weekly favorites <laughs> he's licking my hand Tara's here he's being a little bit of a distraction so sorry if you can hear him playing with his penguin um first up is a nail polish we had wanted this nail polish for a while the se expressi line we just love the colors that they come mm -hmm. out with um and the <laughs> formula is much better than like the original se formula and the brush is much better it's a wider brush so overall we really like this line mm -hmm. um and this shade is called espresso double shot and it was part of a collection they released i want to say almost a year ago and for whatever reason mm -hmm. we couldn't find it in target and ulta online anywhere it was just unavailable <laughs> it's really weird it was like on the se or it still is on the se website and then when you clicked like buy from retailer it would just say that it wasn't available yeah it was so strange but then finally it said it was available on cvs and not of course not in our store so i ordered a few online we got three shades um we got two from this collection this one and fueled up and then we got one a uh, millennium momentum i think it's called from their new collection which actually is in stores and online mm -hmm. so it's like this collection was just skipped over which is so strange but this is my favorite out of the three. Um, sorry, I'm not wearing it right now, but I'll insert a photo of me wearing it. And I feel like it's a really nice, like, cool toned brown, but it has some olive tones into it. Like, just a subtle hint of olive. So it makes it a little bit more unique. So I really love this for, like, a deep nude, which is what I usually gravitate towards on my nails. Um, and it's affordable, so highly recommend. We have a wine favorite we like from this week. Um, so we talked about how much we love How I Built This, the podcast. And we've also talked about the McBride Sisters episode. It's mm -hmm. probably our favorite episode Definitely. of all time. Mm -hmm. um, highly recommend you listen to it. Their story is so inspirational and just like a beautiful life story. Yes. Um, so McBride Sisters wine, we saw that they started selling it at Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. which is so exciting for them. They are not going to see this video, but um, <laughs> congrats to them because we were really excited for them. Trader Joe's is obviously like our favorite distributor of, of, <laughs> of wine. Any, of anything, really. Of anything. Yeah. Um, so when we saw it at Trader's, we were like, oh, we have to try it. And so we got their Sauvignon Blanc, and this is 2019 from New Zealand, and it was delicious. I think it was $12. Yeah, so really affordable. For how good it was. For how good it was. Um, and I don't like Sauvignon Blanc usually. I do I not like it. it ever. It's one of my favorites. And I love this one. It was very, like, crisp and refreshing without being too, like, nutty or too fruity. Yeah, it was really refreshing, not sweet. Um, mm -hmm. We de are generally I, since I usually drink them. I like like a lighter sap, like in color. Generally, mm -hmm. I feel like those are the ones, I don't know if it has to do with the type of grapes or like what makes the color difference, but when they're darker, they tend to be sweeter in my opinion yeah. and I never really like them. But this is like a pale yellow. It's really nice. And if you, um, sorry to interrupt, but mm -hmm. if you listen to the podcast, they talk about how they made this like family emblem, family crest, um, mm -hmm. when they were like reunited. And so I love that they included it on the wine bottle. I yeah. think like that's just really special to them. Well, it says it on the back, which is really oh. cool. I'll read their little story quickly. It says, unaware that the other existed, we were raised in wine regions of California and New Zealand, independently developing an appreciation for the craft of wine making. Despite the seven thousand miles between us we eventually found each other this collection which unites our parallel lives and passion for wine represents a true sense of place our story is proof of the bond that can form over a bottle of wine a truth that comes to life with every mcbride sisters wine so 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 cute it's an end that says vintners and sisters and then they signed it honestly <laughs> i would just buy this to support them we did like i wasn't because yeah. i told like i don't usually drink that type of wine but i was like oh we have to get it because like we're like obsessed with them now <laughs> yeah truly obsessed with them check out, out their brand they have other yeah. um like labels and wines but mm -hmm. we actually really liked the app so yeah recommend okay next up is a rediscovery but i wanted to mention it because i've been using it this week every day it is the coco kind my matcha all over moisture stick and sorry target put this disgusting like barcode stick over this it. Lately. yeah so it, it just really ruined the packaging but that's aside from the point so basically this is a really simple stick it only has like coconut oil beeswax um i can't read the whole thing because of this sticker but a few ingredients matcha powder and it's basically an all over moisture stick. So I love to use this under my eyes, like at night, or really like where I get dry at night. So I put it under my eyes, like on the sides of my nose. If I have a dry patch on my lips, on my eyelids, it just really does add a nice moisture to the skin without feeling super heavy on the skin. Um, and it's like a really smooth stick, easy to apply. You can like either use your finger or put it directly on your face, whatever you feel most comfortable doing. 
I think it's only like $9 at Target, so it's really affordable. And the last one I had, like, it just kind of got chunky after a while, which I think it was so safe to use, but, you know, it's just not, like, after a while it becomes harder to use it if it's not smooth like this. So I just wanted to repurchase it, and I love this. I feel like I always have to have it in my skincare collection, so I wanted to mention it because I had recently repurchased and have been using it literally every day. Or our IKEA shelves. Yeah. Next. Okay. Next is our IKEA shelves that we just bought for our office. I think we did we talk about this? In yes, something? we said that they were sold out forever and we didn't want to link them for you guys until we got our hands on them. Right so now in our get time. ready in our get ready video. Mm -hmm. Um so we finally got the shelves. We saw they were in stock last Wednesday and we jumped at the chance. We went Well, there were only four in stock, so we had to go that day. Yeah, we went that night and we got two, thankfully. Um, a very nice man helped us get the second box off the shelf because they were so heavy. I have, I had, it's almost gone, but a bruise for like a week on my left knee, like battle wounds from trying to get these in the car. So yeah. they were heavy. Um, but they're so stunning. They are a little more pricey for like an Ikea piece or what you would think an Ikea price mm -hmm. would be because they are like full panel glass doors. Um, they're really tall, they're really spacious. The entire thing is made of wood. And you guys know, a lot of times at Ikea, like maybe the outside pieces are made of wood and the inside pieces are like, what is it called? Plywood? Like fake wood essentially, mm -hmm. or even like plastic they use sometimes, which is fine, it's fine. We all have that, like we still have furniture like that. But um, these are such high quality, so we wanted to you know, vouch for the price if you are, if you like how they look. We definitely think they're worth the price because the entire thing, like it's like molded in wood, like the pieces just kind of fit together. Yeah, we were kind of shocked at how yeah. easy they were to put together because mm -hmm. it's, they basically create like divots yeah. and so you like just press the divots together and that's how it like forms the whole piece. And then you do like nail in and screw in, but like, well, they're very minimal though. Yeah. It was like, it was the easiest piece of Ikea furniture ever that we put in together. So that also like probably contributes to the price. They were just large, so like we could only do one at a time because we only had enough space to like lay it down and mm -hmm. do one time. My boyfriend still helped us, but really simple to put together. We were shocked. Yeah, we were really happy with how easy they were to put together. And like I said, definitely more expensive, but worth it in our opinion. Um, we can insert like an after photo of like what we have our dyad stuff in yeah. one of them so you can see how like how we're using them right now, but love them, love them. Yeah, we're obsessed. So our fifth favorite is the bins that we got to go in the shelves. So we actually have been using these bins around our house for over a year for sure. Oh my gosh, maybe two. Was yeah. Whenever they came out with them at Ikea. Yeah, they came out with them in like a white and a green color and we just thought they would be useful. They're really inexpensive plastic bins that like stack on top of each other. So we got them for like miscellaneous uses, like um, cards that we wanted to keep, photos. Um, we got a couple big ones for our dog cabinet to keep um, like their toys in and their clothes <laughs> that they don't wear unless we're like in cold weather um and so we've always found them useful and then when we got these shelves we really wanted to get organized we got one for like our dyad stuff and then one for photography stuff um so we really thought that this would be the perfect way to get organized because they do stack so well <laughs> and sorry i'm looking at dairy yeah he's being weird <laughs> um they do stack really well on top of each other they're white so they look really clean inside of the glass um, we just put labels on them. You'll see because we said we would insert a photo. Um, but they come in a few different sizes. So there's like a small, a large that's like slim, and then um, a large that is a little bit bigger that you you can't stack in these shelves because they're too big, but they fit a lot of stuff in them. So we really just love the simplicity of them, how they stack. Like we said, the price is really good. So we'll link them below um, and the ones that we've purchased, but highly recommend. And I think everybody loves them because we actually needed more and we went to go get more of the mm -hmm. larger ones and they were like completely sold out. They literally had six of like the medium sized ones left, six total. So we have to wait um, until they get more in stock to go back where we're not complaining because we love going to Ikea. <laughs> yeah, but we try to only go when it's like not crazy busy. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously because COVID is still real, but it's a delight when it's not crazy busy. Yeah, exactly. Well, we we kind of live that, by that rule all the time anyway. We just yeah. don't like being places that are super busy. Mm -hmm. So we like to go to Ikea during the week and the mm -hmm. weeknights. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll link everything below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope you have a great weekend.